What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the certifiably suave Dr. Disaster, and we have to talk about the upcoming flop that is about to crash land into the box office this weekend. We have to talk about Borderlands. Good luck. You're gonna need it. There was a time when I would have been thrilled to see a Borderlands movie hit the theaters. It was a different time back in 2012 or so when Borderlands 2 was released. The franchise was still fresh and it hadn't been co-opted by the jackasses who are currently running the show these days. The film was announced almost 10 years ago and back then I remember being really excited for them to make it. But now, well, anything put out by the franchise these days, to me, it comes off like this. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where my handle is DrDisaster1. But anyhow, let's take a look into our crystal ball and see what to expect for the Borderlands movie that's finally coming out in a couple of days. Unfortunately for the makers of this thing, they released this movie about five years or so too late, because most of the goodwill for this IP is gone after the releases of Borderlands 3, one of the most poorly written pieces of shit that was ever put into a video game, and Tiny Tina's Wonderland. These games were clearly made for the modern audience, and so the regular audience, you know, the normal gamers of the world, they have largely abandoned the franchise by now. That's why Gearbox had to get bought out this year by Take-Two, which will exacerbate things further because one of Take-Two studios, 2K, is prominently listed as a client of Sweet Baby Inc. All that being said, this movie is going to bomb big time. This article from Screen Rant breaks a lot of it down for us, and even this shill media site can't bring themselves to lie to people and say that this movie is going to do well. They reserve that right mostly for Disney, I guess. But anyhow, down here in the article, they say that Borderlands is estimated to have a budget of about $100 million. Now, I've heard that they've spent upwards of $120 million on this thing, but that's fine. Let's operate under the assumption that 100 is the accurate number, and when I researched the marketing budget of this thing, I wasn't able to find a lot of information, however, this article from Deadline suggests that Lionsgate, who made the film, has spent around $30 million on advertising. So, if you factor in the fact that movie theaters take roughly half the proceeds from the movie ticket sales, because of course, the theaters don't do their work for free, a lot of corporate apologists out there who really want these movies to succeed because it makes them feel all warm and fuzzy, because they like the idea of sticking it to people like me, the professional noticers of things that woke jackasses do. Well, a lot of these jackasses refuse to acknowledge this basic fact that movie theaters take half of the proceeds from the movie ticket sales, but it's the truth. Movie studios only get about half the sales in order to break even, the movie needs to make around $260 million. And are they going to do that? I don't think so. <laughs> going back to the Screen Rant article, it says that things are looking bleak for the opening weekend of Borderlands. Ultimately, Borderlands needs to make between $200 and $300 million to be considered a box office success. By doubling or tripling its budget, the movie can make back whatever money it spent and have a little extra to enjoy. The odds of this happening may not be very good. According to box office theory, the movie is projected to make between $13 and $18 million in its opening weekend. 
To put things into perspective, this is Madam Web, levels of box office futility. That movie had a similar budget and is universally recognized as a massive failure, and its opening weekend, according to Box Office Mojo here, netted them about $15 million. So it seems to me that unless Borderlands gets some really strong word of mouth, the movie is going to fail about as hard as you can. Madam Web ended its run with about $100 million at the box office. If Borderlands ends up with those numbers, they will take home around $50 million on a spend of around $130 million, meaning they will have lost $80 million on this venture. As far as I'm concerned, I'm glad to hear it. The franchise has been dead to me since Borderlands 3 came out about five years ago, so I'm going to leave it there. Drop your thoughts and your mockery of this film in the comment section below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching, me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.